Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel and the Los Angeles Dodgers have made a move, not 100% official yet, but it looks like it is expected to be very soon. The Dodgers and the Rays have come to an agreement to trade Tyler Glasnow and Manuel Margo to the Dodgers for right-handed pitcher Ryan Pepio and outfielder Johnny DeLuca, contingent on Glasnow signing an extension. So the Los Angeles Dodgers are going to try and improve that rotation, which is a little bit banged up, to say the least, for 2024. Obviously, even Otani will not be able to pitch in 2024. So they pick up Glass now, who just had, even though he's had some injury history, he did come off a pretty good season here. 21 starts, 10 and 7. The strikeout stuff is fantastic. 162 Ks and 120 innings for Glass now. Eight years big league experience, so... The Dodgers are hoping that he'll be healthy for the majority of 2024, but he has had some injury issues. He had to have Tommy John at one point and has really had trouble staying healthy for an entire season, which is kind of the last kind of pitcher that the Dodgers really need. But they feel that this is a better option, obviously, than the young Ryan Pepio. And he'll be heading to the Rays. And he really impressed this year with the Dodgers. He went 8-3 and three at a 2.14 ERA. He also had six starts in AAA this year, 26 strikeouts and 22 innings there. Made his big league debut in 2022 where he went 3-0 and oh for the Dodgers. And absolutely tore it up that year in AAA going 9-1 and one with a 2.56 ERA. Pepio has been one of the top prospects the last couple years for the Dodgers. And I thought he was going to be a part of that rotation in 2024 for Los Angeles, but evidently not if this deal goes through. Also, um, the two position players that are get, getting swapped here, Manuel Margo, uh, he's a solid player, obviously. Lots of big league experience there. You have Johnny DeLuca, and Johnny DeLuca's got some pop. Hit 19 home runs this year between the big leagues and the minors in just over 300 at-bats. In the minor leagues this year, just 279 ABs. He hit 17 home runs with a 294 average and a 956 OPS. Johnny DeLuca is no joke. He's only got a handful of big league at bats, 42 big league at bats, a couple of home runs, 262 average. He's, he's done okay in that a small sample size. I really believe Johnny DeLuca has a future as a big leaguer. And uh, we could be looking back at this trade right here because we already know what who Manuel Margot is for the most part. He's got eight years big league experience. He, you know, with the Padres, he's played full seasons before. And he's a solid player. He's, he's, he's nothing wrong with uh, Margot, but we pretty much know who he is. He's not a superstar. He's not an all-star. You're going to hit you around 260, 270. You're going to hit you five to 10 home runs, maybe 12. But, you know, I kind of, honestly, I know a lot of people are saying the Dodgers totally won this deal. And I see why the Dodgers did it. You pick up a good starter in Tyler Glass now, who has already proven himself at the big league level, and that's what the Dodgers wanted. But I'm not so sure. I mean, I think I see what the Rays are doing here. I don't know if I think I might rather have Pepio and DeLuca, to be quite honest, uh, as opposed to Glass now, who's had an injury history, and Manuel Margot. Uh, so I'm not so sure, but let me know what you guys think down below. If this deal goes through, I am not too worried about it as a Giants fan. I mean, obviously. The Dodgers are getting a, a solid arm right here in glass now, but I really thought that Pepio was a, a, gonna have a, a great career and a great season. He very well might over in Tampa Bay. We'll see what happens. And I, I think Johnny DeLuca, I, I, and I know the Dodgers are already stacked, so they can afford to give him up, but I think he might have a, a, a nice big league career on the horizon. But let me know what you guys think down below, and we will talk to you in the next one.